Time for finish. I'm going to use Libos Kunos number 244. This is the Coco Bolo flavor. Two coats of that. And then I'll start putting on the Libos Kunos 244 clear. And that'll be anywhere from one to three more coats. Um, I'm applying with a brush. Going to let it set about 15 minutes and then use a non-abrasive pad to kind of polish it in then wipe it off and blow out the excess around the nooks and crannies. Let's come on over here and we'll start slopping some finish on. Okay. Be back in about 15 minutes. So the back of the frame gets a piece of hardboard. Um, this happens to be somewhere between an eighth of an inch and three sixteenths. It measures out at about 0.15. Um, you can see I've laid out the tape. I have double back taped the hardboard to a piece of three quarter inch uh, ply. The ply is held to the bench with screws through the uh, dog holes so it's all secure and I have elevated the uh, hose the uh, dust extraction hose and the electrical hose to kind of keep them out of my way as I go around so let's cut this guy out Okay, let's see what we have here. I think I'll take that fuzz off first. Okay, a little cleanup and taking the tape off and that's done. So I got a call a few minutes ago, the mirror is ready. So I'm gonna go down to the uh, glass shop, and pick that up, come back, and we'll finish this entire project off. We'll install that mirror. So it's time to finish this guy off, these guys off. Um, actually, I made another frame as well, cherry flavored. Cut this one out on my bigger CNC. I kind of like cherry. Now I um, use quarter inch mirror, um, it gets less distortion and such, but when I sent it off to the uh, glass shop to have it cut, I made a pattern. I cut this out with the Shaper Origin. Um, this pattern will be into the drawing um, package um, that I sell. So let's move in a little closer and I'll finish off this Apili frame here. Now, first of all, there's two different orientations we can hang this mirror. One, you can have one of the joints pointing straight up. That's what I'm going to do. Or you could have one of the segments horizontal. I'm preferring this one. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap with the mirror in the frame. I did that on purpose where the um, mirror would not get cut too large. Uh, there, the gap I filled in with stuff I had on hand. I had these uh, bumpers are about a quarter inch 
well, about three sixteenths thick. And I kind of squished them in between here at every segment, kind of keeps it suspended in the middle. On the back of the mirror, belt bumpers. This is all just stuff I had on hand. Now, the, I pre-drilled the back with little holes. I'm gonna put brads in there and I'm gonna even this, evenly place it. It doesn't have to be scientific because it's, if it's visually even, we are good enough because this is the back and that's pretty good. Okay. Like I said, I pre-drilled at about every segment and about the middle of it. Half inch brads. Let me put one over here and kind of lock in the position. For the hanging wire, I'm using D-rings. I have marked a pencil line in on the back telling me where the frame is. I don't want to make the mistake and go into the mirror. And I also marked a little line right here to help me position. They're going to point in a little bit like that. So let's pre-drill and mount these guys. So the wire I'm using is stainless steel rated at 75 pounds. Uh, that's quite a bit overkill for a 13 and a half pound frame. But again, this is what I had on hand. The same goes for my system for crimping a mop. I have these aluminum crimps. I had those on hand. I believe they're for eighth inch and these poly heat sink. These are eighth inch. So let's go ahead and put these guys on. These little crimps just slide together. Okay, now the heat sinks go on top of there and there heat the heat shrink rather not sinks heat shrinks there we go and as the name implies it, it shrinks with heat I could have just twisted these off, but this keeps all that fraying stuff. I hate reaching to the back of a frame and um, getting my fingers caught on some fraying wire. So I hope you enjoyed this video series. Uh, I will be making available uh, the SVG uh, files to cut this out on the um, Shaper Origin. Uh, but also the DXF files to cut it out on a regular CNC. It's really not a project to do unless you have either the Shaper Origin or a CNC. See you next time.